right. Algebra 1, Lesson 37, Part 2. And the reason why I labeled it that, I realized is that my video cut off. So I wanted to reteach this last part. Um, I know my dog started barking. So anyway, I wanted to go in and finish teaching this, okay? So the first thing I want to really focus on is we were talking about less than and greater than, okay? And so if you were going to draw a number line and graph the solution of x is greater than 2, what you would do is, well, let's go ahead and draw our number line. 0, 5, negative 5, negative 3, positive 3. Okay, and so whatever you graph, that's your x, okay? So you're graphing those numbers that are greater than 2, okay? So let's just put our 2 here, 1, okay? And so numbers that are greater than 2 are this way. So you would actually graph from here on, okay? Now, since this is greater than, you're just going to leave a circle on your 2, okay? Because it's greater than 2. It's not equal to 2. Equal to 2 would fill in this, the, the dot. It's just greater than 2. So what you do is you show that this x, this portion, is greater than 2, all right? And so this arrow means that it keeps going. The numbers that keep going this way are greater than 2, okay? Now, let's do a few more of these just to make sure you're understanding, okay? Now let's look at x is less than and equal to 2, all right? So let's take the same chart, all right? I'm going to fill these in. Okay. Now, this, whatever we're going to fill in, okay, and if you just want to look at them one at a time, x is less than 2. The numbers that I fill in are less than 2. Well, 2 is right here, and the numbers that I fill in are less than. Numbers that go to the left are less than. Numbers that go to the right are greater than. So we're going less than 2. Okay, so I'm going to go less than 2. All right, all the negative numbers, and it keeps going, okay? But it's not just less than 2, it's also equal to 2. So we are going to fill that dot in to show that it also equals 2, two as well. So that's how you would graph that, all right? Let's do another one. Now this time what they're going to do is they're going to graph one, and then they want you to write the equation. And the equation here is called an inequality. Okay, so again, I'm going to draw the chart that they have here. Three, two, one, one, two. Okay, and here's what they have on our chart. All right, from negative three on, okay? Hopefully you can see that it is not filled in. So what is my X telling me? This portion is the x, so the x, this is less than the 3. So this portion, this x portion is less than negative 3. See that? Okay. Is it equal to negative 3? No, because it has that open circle. If this was filled in, then your inequality that you would write is x is less than negative 3 and equal to. Less than and equal to negative 3. Okay. So sometimes they're going to tell you to graph it, and sometimes they're going to tell you to um, write the inequality. This is the inequality that you need to write, to learn how to write, and this is the graph that you need to learn how to fill out. All right, and that's question 37.